Well, it is a big weekend around the Queen City, a springtime tradition for many in the Charlotte area. The Queen's Cup steeplechase finally returns, so I headed down to Mineral Springs to get a preview and learn about the history of how this race got started here. So it's a great big lawn party where the horses are invited. Bill Price and his wife Carrington founded the Queen's Cup steeplechase from the ground up. From the beginning, we've been a family affair. We found this in 1997 and we actually built it all out. And now they're celebrating their 25th anniversary of the steeplechase after being put on hold due to the pandemic. It's been three years and uh, put another way, it's 1,095 days since the last time we ran with a full audience. We are so excited for the Queen's Cup steeplechase, so let's get a preview. I have my fascinator ready. All right, let's go check it out. From the hats to the horses, this has become a family tradition for many. Everybody gets a great view. And this year, Iman Bache of America's Got Talent will be performing. But it's more than just a celebration. The most important piece of the equation is we are raising money for the Alzheimer's Association. Bill lost his mother to the disease in 2014. His father and father-in-law both suffered from dementia as well. And the Price family also thought it was important to put the 246 acres into a permanent conservation with the Catawba Lands Conservancy. Our mission here is to preserve open space. And when race day is over, Bill and his family enjoy taking care of the property and their retired racehorses. They're like big puppy dogs. <laughs> it's a lot of work, but on the day, it, there's nothing that makes us feel prouder to see all these people, all of our 15,000 best friends, come out <laughs> for the day and just enjoy the property. <laughs> oh, I love it! Yes! yes. yes. That area is stunning, though. I can tell from the, the video there. I want to go see. I mean, just being out there. And, Larry, they're really hoping the weather's going to be nice tomorrow. Well, let's take a look at it. I think it's <laughs> probably a day with, with not a whole lot, but some sunshine. And it's certainly not going to be a washout. I think, if anything, as we get towards the middle part of the afternoon, it'll be a little more humid, mid to upper 70s, maybe a little bit of drizzle. Uh, nothing to really cause any major problems, not looking at big storms or anything like that. Should be okay. Uh, the light rain the most. And you know, those hats, I mean, mm -hmm. they can protect you from a little drizzle, they, right? They, right? Right. They have a big hat contest. <laughs> yes. I yes. used to MC down there and all kinds of, I mean, hats, you know, like this tall. Where's your hat, like, Larry? Huh? Where's your hat? I'm sure he has <laughs> one. It's in my closet. Stored my away. Closet. So your closet. Closet. For sure. Let okay. me go find it. I'll get a hat right now. Hey, <laughs> the guy that you uh, interviewed really willed the good forecast into this. He said, yeah, it's not going to rain. It's going to be fine. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Speak it into it existence. Is gonna, yeah, that's right. It's going to be great. All right.